Hey guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So today we have a very exciting video. This is going to be a shop with me at the Goodwill Outlet, otherwise known as the Goodwill Bins. So here in Houston, we do pay $2.49 per pound for clothing, shoes, and $1.19 per pound for miscellaneous items like home items or rugs, that type of thing. And I would say this trip was pretty representative of an average trip to the Goodwill outlet for me. I was there a couple hours and I was able to find 22 items in total. Of those 22 items, I will be reselling 19. And yeah, let's go ahead and get into the footage of me shopping. I will be doing a voiceover for this video. And then at the end, I will meet you guys back here for a thrift haul of exactly what I was able to find. So I'll see y'all then. Okay guys, so here we are at the Goodwill outlet. Our first find of the day is this pair of Gymshark athletic shorts. And anytime I am thinking about picking up an athletic item, I always turn it inside out. I look at all the seams because athletic wear gets a lot of use a lot of the time and you wanna make sure that it is going strong. Our next find is this Calvin Klein dress and I do put this into the cart but I end up putting it back later on because I decided that even though I do like picking up Calvin Klein office wear, I like to stick to closet staples like a black ponty knit dress or maybe a gray or like a window pane print but the denim I thought was just kind of uh, misplaced in an office setting kind of thing. I didn't think it would sell as well. This is a really cute style skirt from Forever 21. I stopped on it because the seasonality was good and it did also feel higher quality being a linen blend. And I did think it was adorable, but I did end up again leaving that behind because I'm trying to work smarter and not harder by listing less items for more instead of more items for less money. So yeah, I'm trying to stick to the best of the best this trip. Now we have this tank top from Nike. I paused on this because I could tell it was a newer tag and a newer piece. Unfortunately, it did have a stain on the front and that looked like something that would be kind of hard to get out. I was just check checking the tag there to see what year it was from. This top, the leopard catches my eye, and I see that it's new with tags. The brand is Jolt, which is a junior's brand from Nordstrom. It doesn't resell for much, and there really isn't a demand for it on the secondhand market. So I quickly move that to the side. Then I stumble upon this Out From Under cardigan from Urban Outfitters. These really slouchy, oversized cardigans from Urban and Free People do sell very well for me. However, this one just had too much wear to it. Now I see this dress from Lulu's. It's an all over floral crochet lace and I picked this up for myself. I have a baby shower to go to in a couple weeks and I need a dress for it. So I toss that into the cart. I love finding stuff for myself at the bins. It saves so much money. My mom was showing me the scarf here and we decided that she wasn't going to get it. But this is a Talbot's blouse top in a size medium. It just had a little bit too much wear. And I also do like to stick to size large and up in Talbot's and more mature brands. It also really didn't have much going for it. This was a top that my mom asked if I wanted for myself, but the embroidery to it seemed pretty cheaply done. And so, yeah, I didn't end up getting that. That was just a Forever 21 sweater. Now we have our first solid find of the day, I would say. It is a soft surroundings, one size poncho cardigan type piece. I love that. I think it's so quirky and cool and I think it will sell very well. You guys are going to get a better look at everything in the haul portion at the end of this video. This J. Jill button down shirt I was super excited to find because it's 100% linen and linen stuff from J. Jill sells phenomenal for me but unfortunately that did have 
some staining at the underarm area, which is a no-go for me. I stopped to look at this t-shirt because you guys know that I like that color of yellow, but I do end up just tossing that aside. We have some Forever 21 trousers. And then I just continue rummaging through. This was a brand new rotation. And so I believe this was the first bin that I looked through on this rotation and I didn't really find too much, but I believe when I move around to the next bin is when I start adding some items to the cart. So that was a lightweight waffle Henley. This is a Peter Miller uh, linen men's shirt, which I, it was very faded and I don't really pick up short sleeve men's shirts um, unless they are a brand that I'm familiar with like this one. So this is a newer tag Tori Richard men's Hawaiian shirt in a size 2X, which it has so much going for it. I was very excited to see this. I love the print to it. The seasonality is great. People are starting to go on vacation, go on cruises, and they love Hawaiian shirts. This is another one. This one is the older tag from Tori Richard, but I do love the novelty print to this. It's like palm trees and monkeys. I'm trying to show you guys up close here. These are both made of 100% cotton lawn and the brand retails for over $100, Tori Richard. And so I will be listing both of those in my men's closet for probably, I would say 35 to 40-ish. This sweatshirt, I could immediately tell was good quality when I felt of it and I was suspecting that it was Lululemon and it did end up being Lululemon. So that was very exciting. I was on the hunt for the logo there and it's a cropped pullover crew neck sweater. Very trendy. I think that will sell very quickly. I'll probably list it for 40, maybe $45. That's a new tags white stag midi skirt but it just didn't have enough going for it. I don't think White Stag retails for much, so I moved that to the side. I am on the hunt for more Lululemon in this bin because usually when you find one, you find multiple if it's a raw donation. And this does end up also being Lululemon, so I believe it was from the same person. And I do not wear gloves at the bins because I can quickly feel higher quality materials and um, it does help me to kind of identify the better stuff, I guess you'd say. And so, yeah, that is a huge tip when you're shopping at the Goodwill outlet. If you find one type of item and it's really good, you want to keep your eye out for other possible items. Like this sweatshirt caught my attention because it looked kind of athleisure style. I thought it might also be Lululemon, but it ended up just being Morona from Target. These are cut from the cloth, like ponty knit pants that I was not interested in picking up. This is a soft surroundings, long sleeve, lightweight knit top, which I would have purchased this if it did not have staining. I'm pointing out to you guys. I liked the snaps down the sides of the arms that was a cute extra detail to it but unfortunately it was flawed that's a dated dress quirky tablecloth type piece with some embroidery i usually always look at anything embroidered when i am shopping because maybe like 20 percent of the time it ends up being something good a pillow moving all of this bulkier stuff to the side I think I'm still on the hunt for some Lululemon stuff that's a new tags pair of polar tech pants we are going out of like ski season and winter wear so I'm not really even looking at 
heavier stuff unless it's really nice. This is a lightweight men's New Balance quarter zip like windbreaker jacket that I thought might be a possible piece for my men's closet but in the end I decided it wasn't substantial enough of a piece to pick up so I moved that to the side. So we are about two bins down from where I found several items and I'm still uh, just kind of keeping an eye open for athletic wear and then I stumble into this pair of leggings. Again, I immediately feel the nicer quality to these. And so I start searching for the logo and I realize it's not on either leg. It's at the back of the waistband because these are the Align leggings in a floral print. So yeah, really exciting find here. Align leggings sell super well from Lululemon. You always want to, again, like I mentioned earlier, turn all athletic wear inside out, really look at the seams, look at the crotch for wear, and just make sure that it's in good condition. And yeah, those looked great. So just moving on here. I think I start to get a little pep in my step because I found a couple items now. This I also end up getting. It's a Kiss band t-shirt. Band t-shirts from really any band that's pretty well known sell very quickly for me. Um, they're definitely more bread and butter. They go for, I would say, $25 to $30. Okay, everyone is lining up for a new rotation that is about to be released and I'm on my way, but I see this singular Minnetonka boot. It catches my eye because I have sold this exact pair of boots from the brand in the past before. However, I don't end up finding the mate to the shoe, so I end up throwing that back before I check out. This is a Soft Surroundings knit midi skirt which I do end up putting into the cart. You guys know I love soft surroundings and anything in that really soft stretch jersey material I always go for. So yeah, this is a new rotation and my eye is typically drawn to prints and textures. So I looked at that faux leather jacket. It was a low quality brand, so I moved it to the side. The print of that scarf caught my eye as well as this floral print, but they are inexpensive items. This velvet, it's a texture, um, you know, so I start to look at it. That orange top was also velvet textured. We have an eyelet, eyelet uh, texture here. And so yeah, that's typically what I go for when I'm quickly trying to pick up items that are worth more that's a gingham print more floral prints so you definitely see a trend here of what i'm reaching for quickly when they first yell go i do end up you know after the after everyone has kind of moved out a little bit and i go through everything but when i'm trying to move quick i definitely go for textures prints those are the two main things and fabrics for sure so here we have more velvet and I do end up getting this. It is a Zara velvet long line blazer, really nice piece. That is a linen blend J. Crew blazer that was not in very good condition. So this print catches my eye. I'm thinking that it may be like a nice little kimono I could put on my mannequin, but the quality was just not there. So I move that to the side. I think that was a silk blend, and so the fabric of that uh, made me stop. The print, again, I noticed this. It was a handmade kids uh, clothing piece, which I debated getting for a friend because she loves like vintage baby clothes, but it didn't have snaps on the leg, so it's like hard to change the diaper type thing. So. Yeah, I move that to the side. This scarf, again, the print quickly caught my eye. And it did feel like nice quality, but it didn't have any tags to it. 
so I didn't end up getting that. I do love picking up lightweight scarves and kimonos, but I didn't think that the print on that was enough to carry it fully. Maybe if it had a nicer print or if I knew that it was a cashmere or silk blend. So moving on, you can see there are lots of people here at the rotation. This hat catches my eye, but it ends up being pretty low quality. I believe I have moved around to the other side of the new rotation here and I spot this Soft Surroundings Mixed Media sweater, which I add to the cart. These printed jeans, they were just from Kato, so pretty low quality, not really interested in those. Then I, I think that was just from Target. I saw this midi skirt from H&M. It was a nice closet staple in my size. And so I put that in the cart for me, but it ended up having a pretty large rip. And so I do throw that back. This is just a Talbot's ribbed knit sweater. It had wear and it was too plain and it was the older tag from Talbot's. So keeping with the theme, this print catches my eye, but I could quickly tell that the quality of that was low. It felt like 100% polyester. This is a pair of Briggs shorts. Again, nothing to write home about. So as you can see, shopping at the Goodwill outlet, you just have a lot of sorting to do, sifting through tons and tons of clothing items to find the gems. This is yet another Soft Surroundings top. I guess someone donated their entire collection. This is a little girl's vintage handmade dress that I debated picking up for a friend, but I couldn't really decide if I thought she would like it or not so I ended up leaving that but it was super cute with the mixed prints I probably should have grabbed it but um, I pick up stuff all the time for her I do toss that into into the cart but I do end up putting it back later that leopard print caught my eye but again it was nothing special this is a girlfriend collective sports bra that I do end up getting I'm just checking it over for condition just to reiterate again any athletic wear that I find I heavily inspect all of the seams this is a like grainy core style bag duffel bag that I thought was kind of cute but I don't I do not end up getting that this seems to be a very boho kind of ethereal ombre printed maxi dress but it had no tag to it and it did have quite a bit of fading so I moved that to the side just continuing on here again more prints catching my eye but that was a hundred percent polyester kind of thing you can see the velvet and chenille I am reaching for this leather I grab but it was not in good condition next time I am going to move my GoPro up a little bit so that you guys can see better um, I'm still getting used to filming with this this was my first real uh, filming at the bins okay so this is a Lane Bryant dress in a size 14. I did consider getting this because I do like selling Lane Bryant if it's a substantial item. However, this in, ended up having wash wear. I am showing it to you guys there. And it also was really heavy. And so I didn't want to pay up for that with it not being in excellent condition. But if that were brand new looking, I might have grabbed it. Okay, here we are at a, another new rotation. I'm immediately drawn to this piece because it is a bodysuit, which bodysuits sell very well for me, and brown is also 
a very trendy color. So yeah, you can tell I'm trying to move quickly here and my eye is searching for anything that looks sellable, but I'm having a hard time. This Men's Banana Republic vibrant floral print catches my eye. That was a linen blend button down shirt, but I just didn't think that it would go for much. This textured blanket I quickly spot and I immediately start searching for a tag. I'm thinking this might be an Urban Outfitters or Anthropology throw blanket. However, it had no tags to it and so I did leave it behind. This is a bin with a lot of kids clothing, so I'm not really seeing much. The texture of the sweater I look at, it ended up being Faded Glory. This is a, another new rotation, so this is the first bin of the new rotation. The texture of that top was why I grabbed it. And yeah, I'm just having a hard time finding stuff that looks like it could possibly be sellable. The embroidery on those jeans I see, but it ended up being a lower tier juniors brand Tinsel Town. I do this quite a bit where I, if something catches my eye, I pick it up and inspect it while I'm on my way to another bin because it saves time and I can be productive while walking. This little lightweight sheer printed kimono I do end up getting. There is my mom to the left of me. She's wearing her cowboy boot printed LuLaRoe tunic shirt. So yeah, here I am at yet another bin and I spot this Southwestern print. So that is why I gravitate towards this initially. And it is a wool rug so I do quickly put this into the cart and I do end up getting that that was a pretty solid find and then this print also I'm drawn to it ended up being an older tag and tailor dress so I do put that back but I am searching here to try to figure out if it is a more modern piece or if it's older if that had been within the last couple years, I probably would have grabbed that because Ann Taylor dresses do sell really well for me. These BDG shorts, again, I like the print. They have a pleat to them in front. They're high-waisted, but they're just not substantial enough of a piece. These are Fabletics joggers that have no size and some wash wear. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and get into the haul of what I was able to find. I hope you guys enjoyed the footage of me rummaging through the bins. I was able to find 22 items in total, and of those I will be reselling 19. I paid $48.92 for everything, but just for the items that I will be reselling, I paid $42.25. So my cost of goods came out to $2.22 per item on average, which I'm pretty happy with. That's very typical. And so yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. I did find one pair of shoes. I picked these up because they seem pretty trendy. They're just Madden Girl, which is like the, it's like a diffusion line of Steve Madden, kind of a juniors type thing. And I don't think that they use higher quality materials like genuine leather. These are all man-made. They're called the Tompkins Mary Jane platform. I mainly got them because they looked brand new. They're a good size, nine and a half, and they are pretty trendy. I'll add in a lot of keywords to those like academia, preppy, that kind of thing. Oh, you know what? I should start with the three pieces that I grabbed for myself. So those shoes I will be reselling, but uh, quickly I'm gonna run through the three pieces I got for me. So these were not included in the cost of goods because I will be keeping them. These little overalls I'm giving to my friend who has a precious little toddler, size 2T. Those are seven for all mankind, a uh, little overalls dress, really cute. This I got for myself, it's Lulu's size small to wear to a baby shower. I have one coming up next week. 
um, and she's having twin girls. So I think you're supposed to wear pink if they're having girls. Is that how it works or is it just the mom? I don't know. I need to clarify, but either way, it's a pretty spring dress and I tried it on. This fits me perfectly. So I was excited to find that. And lastly for myself are these really cute Wrangler corduroy pants. I also tried these on and surprisingly they fit me to a T. I have such a hard time finding pants and these are like a little bit baggy. I think they might be like a boys but they're really cute. They look brand new so I like the slouchy fit to those. Okay getting back into stuff that I will be reselling. I found one home item and it is a rug. I think this is all wool. It does feel like that. I love the Southwestern print as well as the pastel colorway. It was in excellent condition, no stains, no odor. I think it might be brand new. So yeah, I will definitely get this listed in the Poshmark home department. I have sold several rugs. I just fold this up and ship it in my box number seven with no problem. I'll probably wrap it in plastic just to keep it safe. But yeah, I would think that this would go for a solid $30, $30. And that I did pay separately for because the, like I mentioned, the cost of home items is $1.19 per pound here in Houston. And so I did pay $2.98 for that rug. Okay. Now we have one lightweight sheer kimono piece by, let me scoot back just a little bit so you guys can see better. This is by the brand Woven Heart, which does not have a high retail price whatsoever, but I like to pick up these lightweight kimonos because they are my bread and butter in spring and summertime. People like to wear them over swimsuits or over tank tops with jean shorts. I can throw this on my mannequin and take really quick pictures swiveling it around within like three minutes and I don't look up stock photos for those. So yeah, I, I can list photo and list those within like five minutes and I'll probably make back 12 to $15 on that. So it's worth it for me. We have one sports bra by the brand Girlfriend Collective. This is in a size extra, extra large. I liked the pretty like subdued blue green color. Great size, excellent condition. Girlfriend Collective is a pretty decent brand. I haven't sold it too much, if ever. And so, yeah, I'm excited to see how that will do. These are a pair of Lululemon Align leggings. The Align leggings are, I would say, the top performing bottoms or leggings style from Lululemon. You can pretty easily identify them by this seam and back. It has kind of a pointed, a subtle pointed V here, and that is um, true to all of the Align leggings. And they're also incredibly soft. So yeah, I think this colorway will do well. It's like a floral print, and these are a little bit newer. I know that by this style tag with the number written around the size. Okay, next we have soft surroundings. I found so much soft surroundings this trip. I'm not sure why, but it all was in really good shape. This is a size large. It's like a seafoam green pullover mixed media top with a kangaroo pocket. So most of the top is like a terry cloth cotton but then these sleeves have this contrasting knit, cable knit design, which I thought was really cool. So yeah, this is cute. A nice transitional spring piece. It's not too heavy, but um, it still does provide a little bit of warmth. Then we have a pair of pull-on Gymshark shorts. These are very lightweight, which was mainly why I grabbed them and because they're in excellent condition. They do also seem really nice and practical for working out because they have the built-in shorts underneath, like a lining type thing. So they offer that extra coverage. You don't have to be too concerned when moving around. They're a size extra small from Gymshark. 
I don't know if I will list those or take those to Plato's Closet. I'll probably go ahead and list them, just flat lay them really quickly. Next we have a band t-shirt, features the band Kiss with some tie-dye. These are very bread and butter for me band t-shirts, especially if they have some extra cool details to them, like distressing or tie-dye. This one is in a size medium. It'll probably go pretty quickly for $25. Next we have a dress by Torrid. And I, when I saw this fabric in the bin, I immediately reached for it because I'm pretty sure I've sold this exact dress in the past. I want to say it sold for $30 to $35. And so I did recognize this kind of washed orange material. Really pretty ruffle hem. This specific line from Torrid does sell exceptionally well for me. They're super soft knits. I think just because they're very comfortable and the seasonality on this is great. It's rayon spandex, so I will add soft stretch jersey knit as keywords into the title and description because a lot of people look for that fabric. It's very soft, very comfy, lightweight, and this is from 2020. Excellent condition. More soft surroundings. I was so excited to find this piece. I think this is a great transitional weather piece. You could just wear like a tank or cami with some black pants and have this over top. It's like a kimono cover up, shapeless bat wing poncho type piece. So there are snaps under the arms where you can unsnap it to wear it as like a true poncho or snap it to have a little bit more coverage with armholes. So yeah, I like this a lot. It's like a medium weight knit, I would say. And then it has this fun wooden detail in the front. I think it's just, it might just be plastic made to look like wood, but either way, really cool, really pretty. It is one size fits all. And the material tag is missing on that, but it's pretty soft. It feels like a cotton blend. Okay, next up we have a really soft, basic gray, heathered gray long sleeve from Lululemon. Just a closet essential here. There is the logo. Anytime I find Lululemon, it's exciting um, for me, especially if it's in excellent condition. Okay, this was kind of an out of the box pickup for me. Let me button it. I mainly got this, well, I got this for several reasons. So one, I would say the biggest reason is the style of it and the keywords I knew that I could add, like academia, gossip girl. It's very quirky and cool. So the brand is Guess and it is a poncho cape type sweater jacket so your arms are here i'll have to try this on because it is so flattering and chic very gossip girl very academia preppy the brand is guess which i cannot remember the last time i picked up this brand to resell but i love the style of this it's a size small it is new without tags i say that because it does still have extra snaps still attached and the material content was good. So it's 50% wool, which does make it, um, you know, a little bit higher quality than if it were acrylic or polyester or some type of artificial material. So yeah, let me give you guys the full, that's it all snapped up. It does have side slip pockets, which is great. It's fully lined. And yeah, I love that. It was kind of heavy. I probably paid like $5 for that item alone, but I think it's worth it. I will add in a lot of keywords and I might even add in a model picture because like I said, that's super flattering on. Next, I grabbed two Tory Richard men's button down shirts. I have sold this brand in the past. I have sold a Tory Richard men's button-down Hawaiian shirt for $40, I want to say, in my men's closet. This one is a size 2XT, and I like the um, print to this. It's like a subdued 
leaf print and it's made in Hawaii of, I believe they call this cotton lawn. Yeah, 100% cotton lawn made in Hawaii, USA. So yeah, pretty high quality brand here, Tori Richard. It's just a very reputable brand. People know it, they love it. This is a second one, also a size 2X. And this one does have a novelty print. So it has little monkeys and trees, palm trees, really cute, very tropical. So yeah, for both of those, I will add in keywords like cruise, vacation, summer, Hawaii, tropical, Hawaiian shirt, um, novelty, and try to get those sold over in my men's closet. Next is a blazer by Zara Woman. I was checking comps on this blazer and they were pretty good. I was seeing some around $100. And this looks to be in flawless condition. So it is a silk blend, long line, boyfriend fit blazer from Zara. I would say career wear from this brand does sell well for me, especially if it's a little bit higher quality like this being a silk blend. So yeah, the exterior is 18% silk. And it's a gorgeous like gray brown color, long line, no signs of wear. So yeah, I will get that listed. Um, I do need to recheck comps and uh, try to see what they've actually sold for versus just what they're listed for. But overall, it looks like a really good piece. Okay, next up, more Lululemon, really pretty uh, like peach coral color crew neck, very soft and stretchy pullover. Excellent condition, and this is the little logo. Once again, I'm sure you guys are very familiar. The rip tag has, of course, been ripped out, so I will have to measure armpit to armpit of this and then just compare the measurement to the Lululemon size chart on the website to determine what size it is. That's usually what I have to do with Lululemon items, and it really doesn't take too much time at all. More soft surrounding, size large. This is a printed pull-on elastic waist midi skirt. Very soft, very stretchy. I'm not sure what this, it's kind of like a psychedelic print. And yeah, this is just a really comfy throw-on piece. You could uh, wear just like a basic tank with that. Maybe layer a cardigan over for spring, springtime. More soft surrounding, size large. This is a red waffle knit, long sleeve top with a lace trim. Really pretty, very basic closet staple. This has no signs of wear. Usually this waffle knit material gets pilling under the arms if it's worn even a couple times, and that is flawless. And lastly, for what I was able to find at the bins is this UMG size extra large striped long line tunic blouse top. It has roll tab sleeves so you can roll them if you'd like. Lace trim, very feminine. And let's see, is this, it's 65% cotton and then polyester. So if this had been smaller than an extra large, I may have left it. I probably would have grabbed it in a large, but size small or medium, I probably would have left it behind just because it is relatively plain. However, with all the factors combined, the size, the style, the cut, the length, I did want to grab it. So that was everything that I was able to find. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you're still enjoying the shop with me videos. Also let me know what you think about footage of me shopping at the bins versus at the Family Thrift Center outlet. I do feel like it is a little bit easier to film the shop with me's at the Family Thrift Center outlet because everything is on hangers and so I am I just feel like it's easier to show you guys the tags and really be able to see the items versus at the bins. Everything's just kind of crumpled up as I'm going through it. So um, yeah, let me know your thoughts on that and thank you guys so much as always for watching. I will see you guys soon. Bye y'all.